Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the Ghostbusters Plasma series, Tully's Terrible Night from Hasbro. So this was a Christmas gift from my awesome, amazing wife. Um completes my ghostbusters plasma uh, series collection uh she managed to find it on ebay since this was a con exclusive uh figure so it come it came in the hasbro uh plasma series bo shipper box plus it has this sleeve on the on it which as you can see matches with the other plasma series ghostbusters uh packaging of the khaki flight suit uh with the stitched or, or um yeah the stitched logo which is very nice on the side here you can see an art deco style lewis tully with the door behind him and that sound in the background is my heater it is very cold where I'm at. Um, <laughs> so bear with me. You're going to hear some sounds in the background. Don't worry about it. Uh, plain black uh, back with the uh, Ghostbusters logo. Some caution striping. The Hasbro logo and uh, some copyright uh, information there. And then... You've got a Proton Pack uh, blueprint, uh, or black print as it were. <laughs> and then I have already taken this out of the packaging and set him with my uh, the rest of my collection. Uh, so you will not see him as he uh, was in the box. Uh, but I'm sure you could tell exactly how they're posed in the box. Uh, if you've seen it, they're posed with... Uh, Lewis Tully running away and Vince Clartho chasing after him. And I have to say, I really like this shipper box or this box. Uh, I like the sleeve. I may actually, what I may do is cut this part of the sleeve, cut this part of the sleeve off, maybe frame it or something and hang it up in my, in my office. Uh, I know it says Tully is terrible night on there, but you know, I, I really like that. And I like I like this design too. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's go ahead and move that off to the side. Um, yeah, you got the New York uh, the skyline there in the background. Where the, all the spirits are coming out of the uh, firehouse. And into Dana Barrett's penthouse apartment. On the side there, you've got Lewis Tully with Vince Clortho breaking through his door. All right, who brought the dog? And there's the back. That's exactly how they're uh, displayed in the box. And the back says, when Lewis Tully throws a party, things get wild. The kind of wild that ends up chasing a mild-mannered accountant through the streets of New York. Hey, is dog food tax deductible? <laughs> the rest of it's in different languages. I don't know those languages. I'm not going to try and read them. Uh, but the helmet accessory is included, as you can see here. And there's this other side of the box there. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And we'll take a look at Louis Tully and Vince Clortho. All right, guys, and here we are. Louis Tully with Vince Clortho. And real quick, I just want to show you guys that there is really no difference between Vince Clartho and Zool. Here's Zool. Oh, Zooly, you. Uh, they're identical pieces, really. Um, I, I really haven't seen much of a difference between the two. Uh, same sculpt and everything. Uh, right, all the way down to the paint. The, even the paint's exactly the same. Uh, we'll go in further on comparison here later in the video. Let's go ahead and move Vince Clortho off. And we'll take a look at Lewis Tully.
All right, so as you can see, he does have his helmet on uh, from the uh, scans that Egon was doing on him in the firehouse. Uh, I really love how they really went all out on this figure and even went as far as to have his shirt buttoned the wrong way, just like in the movie, which I never really understood in the movie to begin with, uh, because uh, Louis Tully, when uh, he was, uh, before he was possessed, he had his shirt buttoned up and tucked in. Uh, I can understand why it would be untucked, but why once he got possessed, did it end up uh, unbuttoned and buttoned wrong? Um, why and how is what I'm wondering. So, sorry, I had a hair on my uh, green screen that I couldn't get a hold of. <laughs> but um, I always just kind of wondered why or how it would become unbuttoned and once he was possessed, why he would have taken the time to button even one button uh, one, after it had become unbuttoned. So anyway, as you can see, one of his legs is kind of bent inward a little bit. And the helmet does come off. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it that well. His eyes are red which is a very nice, um, very nice detail. I, I'm very pleased with this figure. And the joints are pretty tight. Uh, he's got double joint at the knee. Uh, I'm not gonna bend it all the way because I don't wanna risk breaking him. Uh, as I said, they are tight. He's got an ankle rocker um and side to side action he's got thigh swivels he's got waist swivel no ab crunch his arms ooh, very tight i'm not going to risk go, doing it any further uh single elbow joint uh wrist swivel no hinge at the wrist though And his head is on a ball joint. You can go side to side, up and down, uh, turn, and kind of swivel a little bit. But that's pretty much it for articulation. And I just, I really like the detail on this guy. I like how they went the extra mile and painted in the red eyes. Uh, that was pretty cool. And to put the helmet back on, you should start with the chin. Because if you start, if you just set it on like this, well, I guess <clears throat> the first time it is a little difficult. It doesn't want to go all the way on. Uh, but I guess once you do it, it kind of stretches out a little bit. So there's that. Now let's go over Vince Clortho. So just like with Zool... Uh, the articulation is exactly the same. Uh, the sculpt is exactly the same. The paint is exactly the same. Uh, you've got a hinge at the uh, shoulder here. Um, you've got a ball hinge at the elbow. Uh, you got a ball hinge at the wrist or ankle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, ball hinge here, ball hinge here. A uh, hinge, or not really a hinge there, just uh, you can go back and forth. And yeah, this, this is, uh, it looks like they just built the Build-A-Figure and packaged him with Louis Tully. Let's go ahead and bring Zool back in. And uh, so you guys can get... Uh, a better look at both of them together. So this is Vin's Clortho, and here's Zool. 
as you can see, the front is pretty near identical, uh, right down to the paint. And then side, the back, and the other side. Pretty much identical, um, right down to the paint. So I think they just took the uh, Build-A-Figures and packaged them with Louis Tully and renamed him Vince Clortho. Uh, in fact, I don't even think in the movie there's much of a uh, difference in appearance between the two. Um, even, even the feet are pretty much identical. As you can see, they're spaced exactly the same on the toes and posed the exact same way. Um, I guess I might have this one, the hind feet wrong on Zool uh, because they've got them, in fact, no, so it looks like they might have put, uh, just to differentiate them, uh, they changed the feet around the hind feet on Vince Glortho, where Zool has the outside toe uh, kind of spread apart a little bit. Vince Clortho has the inside toe spread apart. Um, and then on the other leg, it looks like Zool's uh, first toe here is longer than Vince Clortho's first toe heel here, as you can see. So really, that's the only the only real difference between the two, and how you can easily tell them apart, depending on if your figure looks the same as mine. Uh, they may have designed or assembled them differently. Who knows? But for the most part, the front feet are identical. The back feet are how you can really tell, tell the two apart. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and bring in the, other, the Ghostbusters. And along with Dana Barrett and Gozer. And display these guys all together. So there you guys have it. This has been the Ghostbusters Plasma Series by Hasbro. We have Vince Clartho. We have Winston Zedmore. We have Ray Stans. We have Egon Spangler. We have Peter Venkman. We have Lewis Tully. We have Dana Barrett. We have Gozer. And we have Zool. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Make sure and uh, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, click the notification bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time, right here on Come Again TV. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there. 
so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.